Swing and a miss. Curveball there. First we've seen from Hawkins. So he's now thrown three different pitches in this at bat. We've seen the change up, the fastball, now the breaking ball. And here's the 2 2. He deals. Strike three, outside edge. Fastball, paints the black. And it's two up and two down. The first strikeout for Hawkins. Hawkins challenges batters. The 1 2. See if he does it here. Into the turf. And did he go around? Yes, he did. Tags applied. And Ceballos is put down swinging on the appeal to first, where Nathan White said the bat went through the zone. And the 1 2. Swing and a miss into the turf. He goes fishing for it. And there's the third K of the outing for Hawkins. And the pitch to Walsh. Swing and a miss. There's strike three. Breaking ball as the tag's applied. 0-1 pitch coming here to Matthews. Runner on second. Swung on and line to left. If it's fair, it's big trouble. Smith can't get there. It's fair. Rounding third and coming home to score. Standing up is Hainline. Over to second with an RBI double is Bryce Matthews. And it's 1-0 Cougs. Matthews off of second. The 2-1. Swung on and golf to left field. It's big trouble. If Smith can get there, he can't because it's gone. Long gone over the left field wall. That's golfed for a two-run homer, and it's 3-0 Cougs. A two-run shot for Cresswell. His third homer of the year. He now has four runs driven in. And the Cougs lead 3-0 with nobody down here in the second. 3-0 Cougs. Three runs in the second inning come across. The 1-2 is swung on and missed. Four strike three. Bouncing into the turf. Throw to first to complete it. Grant hitting 205 on the year from Puyallup. The 0-2 from Hawkins. Strike three, three pitches, and a strikeout to Grant. And quickly, two up and two down in the third. The 0-2, does he come right at him? Yes, he does. Fastball strike three. A three-pitch K for Hawkins, who has seven strikeouts through four. We go to the bottom of the fourth. Cook's up 3-0 on the Ducks. Big 2-2 pitch. Boy, Wild went way over the top of the Kretcher. He lost the ball. And there's a run scored on a ball that went about 15, 20 feet in the air on a fly all the way back to the netting. Here's the 3 2 now to Advincula. The pitch swung on and lifted to deep center. Should be deep enough now. Shade comes sprinting in, makes the grab, charging from third is Russell on the tag. The throw not in time, and the Cougs lead it 5 nothing. Two ball, two strike count here, two down. Another couple runs have been plated here for the Cougs in the fourth. The pitch swung on and hit hard on the line to right center field. Back goes Shade. It Pounds off the base of the wall. Sprinting around second is McGee. He rounds third for home. The throw is up the third baseline, and he's safe. And it's an RBI two-out double for Jacob McKeon. Two-ball, two-strike count here. Cowley, the DH for the Ducks. It's a 6-1 to one Coug lead. We're into the sixth of the pitch. Strike three. Hawkins wings him up. There's a breaking ball in the zone. And Cowley watches it go by. The 2-2. Swing and a miss. Strike three. Off-speed pitch away as Liss screams at his buddies with enthusiasm walking back to the dugout. The 2-2. Strike three. A delayed strike three call on a breaking ball on the outside corner. And Grant goes down looking and Wilford has his 10th K of the year. Two balls and two strikes here. McKeon digs back in. Mercado from the stretch with nobody on. This one is swung on and crushed. Back to the scoreboard. It is long gone as it pounds off the top of the scoreboard. It's 7-1 Cougs. McKeon gives it a ride. 
Third home run of the year for McKeon. Got all of that one. Blasted to the power alley and left. The 0-2 from the righty, Bond. Strike three, got him. Back edge. Walsh goes down, fourth K today, and two Ducks are stranded in scoring position. And Bond comes back, set. Cromwick in the box. The pitch. Swung on and hit softly in the center. A blooper that is into the glove of Russell over his left shoulder. On a dead sprint from the shortstop position, there's the first out of the ninth. Kyle Russell shows off how well he can read the ball off the bat. Two ball, two strike count. One down in the ninth in a 7-1 game. The pitch to Garotti. Swing and a miss strike three. An off-speed pitch on the outside edge of the plate. And the Cougs need one more out to seal the deal. And here's the pitch to Meggers. Swing and a miss strike three. Bond puts him down swinging on the inside edge. And the Cougs win the first game of the series against the Ducks. A 7-1 final.